In this video, we'll go over the manager. We'll learn about management areas, the interface, and how to get around inside of Araya. To begin, log into your channel. You can get to your channel by going to yourchannelname.araya.com slash login. Enter your email address and password, and then click login. Once you've logged in, you'll see the management interface. First, you'll see your dashboard. You can always get back to your dashboard by clicking My Channel at the top left of your screen. On your dashboard, you'll see sections such as the array of tutorials on YouTube, Now Playing, which displays what is currently playing on your digital signage, Quick Alert, an area that allows you to quickly post an alert across all of your screens, Share Your Link, an area where you can get your URL in order to share it, as well as areas that show the latest viewers and the status of your devices, whether they are online or offline. Across the top, we have a toolbar for the different areas inside the management interface. Content, which deals with all of the content within your account. This includes the presentations, the media library, any slideshows, and any data managed by listies. Schedules allow you to schedule the content in your channel. Devices, where you can manage the different devices that are displaying content, as well as see them on a map. Inside the Analytics tab, there are options for events and viewers. Events is a live timeline of information, allowing you to see what's going on in real time. Viewers allows you to see the historical view of how people are interacting with your content. This includes seeing a timeline of what they've done inside your content, which pages they visited, which videos they viewed, and how long they were on your site. In the Management tab, we have areas for managing your users, so you can add additional users to manage content, administer the account, or if you have a private channel, you can add additional viewers to view the content securely. Under the Management section, you can also manage your subscription. This allows you to choose which items are subscribed to, as well as update your payment method, and view and print any invoices. On the top right, we have a menu item for managing your channel itself. Here you can create and manage additional channels, controlling public and private viewing, and change the settings for the channel, like the beacon settings, the title, and IP address restrictions. In the content menu, you'll find the media library. Inside the media library, you can manage all of the items you have uploaded to Araya. This includes images, videos, and documents in most common formats. Files are brought into the Araya service by clicking the Add Media button and you're given the option to choose which service you would like to import files from. If you already have images in a Facebook album, files on a Google Drive, or a URL to an image on a website, you can go ahead and import that directly into Araya. On a device with a camera, you can record a video or take a photo directly into your Araya account. You can also search the web for additional images, so if you need a happy birthday image, you can search for that here. Once you have content loaded into Araya, we take care of all the converting. Whether it's an image or a video file, we convert it to the optimum format. Araya will also retain the transparency for content like logos. If you need to make a change to an image, you can simply click on the image and click the Edit button. This brings up a photo editor where you're able to do things like crop, resize, rotate, and touch up images. Also, under the content menu is our slideshow area where slideshow content is managed. This is typically where the day-to-day -day updates are done within Araya. Once you get your presentation set up, it's very common for someone to go in and update the slides. Click Slides to access the slide sorter and you're presented with a drag and drop interface for rearranging the slides. The option to add additional slides allows you to select one or many different items out of your media library. These can be images or videos, as well as settings on each slide for things like title, caption, transition, timing, and scheduling. This is a live interface 
so anytime you drag and drop and make a change, it is pushed out to your signage automatically. Also, under the content menu is the listies interface. If you have an Excel sheet that you would like to update, this is where that update is handled. You simply select your list and choose the new file you would like to upload to replace that list. Inside the presentations area of the management interface, you're able to manage the different presentations that can show on your account and what can be scheduled through the Schedule tab. Here, we have one presentation that's currently in the account. To make additional presentations, you can click the New Presentation button, then you have options for Custom or Template, and from there you can be taken into the editor to actually edit the content.